Ranked battles, anyone? Okay, match one. I see Fluttermane and Iron Moth. I am a bit concerned about that Palafin. But otherwise, I think I have a pretty decent matchup into this team, especially since I see a fair bit of ground weakness. I think I will go Volcarona, Baxcalibur, that just seems like the default for this team, with Mimikyu and Sandy Shocks in the back. Alright, there's Palafin and Fluttermane. That's a very uh, offensive lead, actually. Okay, we see booster energy. Speed, alright. Uh, this actually makes a lot of sense, but at the same time, I'm not really threatened by this at all. Because I really could just go for Rage Powder here. Um, Tailwind does not help me against this. So I think Rage Powder and possibly just going for an Icicle Spear might be really good here. I should be able to survive a Dazzling Gleam. That's, that's kind of the idea. I think I survive a Dazzling Gleam. And I'm just going to let Palafin... Oh, no. They're going to go for the knockout. No, wait. Palafin. Okay. So Palafin's going to go for more damage. Oh, wait a minute. Does... Is it going to be a uh, jet punch to try to knock out Volk? No, it's not. It, it is flip turn. Okay. Also, Moonblast. Very interesting. Moonblast wave crash. Okay. That should knock out Volk. Which really doesn't bother me here at all. So... Because I might be able to get rid of Fluttermane right here. Okay, it does connect. Yeah, it's gonna be a knockout. Wait, what was it? For some reason I was thinking of Icicle Crash. And I was wondering if it was going to hit or not. This is Icicle Spear. <laughs> okay, uh, I think just bring Mimikyu in here now. There's King Gambit, okay. Ah, I should have brought in Sandy Shock. No, I don't want Sandy Shocks here in front of Palafin. So what do they have in the back? It is either... Oh, I could see I any of those three being in the back, actually. It's probably Moth. If I had to guess, it's Moth. So I don't really mind going for a play rough here. And Bax Calibur's in a bit of an odd spot. I think I'm gonna have to tear it now. Ah, it just, no, 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 we're gonna protect. It's, it's not good offense right now. Okay, it's Garganackle. That is a good play rough into Garganackle though. All right, I see. Leftovers, yep, makes sense. I don't really like King Gambit right now. Question is, can I pivot my Sandy Shocks into this? I think I might need to conserve Mimikyu for the late game, actually, because I still have to fight that Palafin, and Mimikyu can take one hit. Sandy Shocks, it can if I tear the Sandy Shocks. So, we're gonna go for this. Just get some more damage onto that, and I'm gonna try and get Sandy Shocks in here. I might should've just let Bex Calibur go, I don't really like it into this. Good damage. Yeah, there's Iron Head, that I should resist that, that's good. What does this guy go for? Salt Cure, okay. It's the double up, makes sense. Ignoring Mimikyu might be a mistake for my opponent. So I'm gonna target Play Rough into Garganackle. Um, I do predict the potential for stalling. I can I can definitely see that happening. I think Play Rough is able to knock out though, if I'm not mistaken. And I mean, what reason do I have to not Earth Power? Does Sandy Shocks live a Sucker Punch? I think it does. It does! Oh, <laughs> just barely! Ah, <laughs> uh, it's a salt vest, I think. It lived that. That also did not knock out. That stinks. And there's recover, okay. Okay. So, th this changes things, because I just lost Sandy Shocks. Okay. Not good. Not good. Alright, Baxcalibur. You're back, I guess. Well, I can either try to knock out Garganackle. I don't think Ice Shard takes out King Gambit. I don't even know if Shadow Sneak takes out King Gambit. Well, this stinks. 
Do I go? Do I try to just double up on the Garganackle? Because that thing's gonna try and stall me out. I, it's a it's a really hard call here, but I think I'm gonna go for this. I kind of don't like this play though, but this is what I'm gonna go for. Ow! That sucker punch hurts hard. It hits hard. Not hurt. Well, it hurts hard too, I guess. But I'm just gonna try and hope that Glaive Rush can knock it out. I'm 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 not confident in it though. Ah, nope. I made a mistake. Oh! Why did I Glaive Rush? That was such a bad idea. <sighs> okay. I have a chance. I really do. I have a, a shot at this. Because here comes Palafin. Alright, Mimikyu, we need a knockout. This is fairy, right? Yeah, it's fairy. I have to knock out that Palafin, I think. Although, Jet Punch Recover just kind of eats me alive here, I think. <sighs> and if Playoff misses, of course, it's over. I think Mimikyu can... Mimikyu has a chance, though. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So glad that thing just protected. Aqua Jet. Why don't you have Jet Punch? You know that gets Jet Punch, right? That's like the objectively better Aqua Jet. Okay. Oh, good, it connects. Let's go. That should knock out. Yes. I'm so glad that Garganackle protected. That gives me a chance. Alright, how much hit points does it have? Oh, it's in knockout range. It's in knockout range. Is it in Shadow Claw knockout range, though? I don't think it is. I think I have to play rough. Oh, it connects. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was scary. Scary endgame there. But Mimikyu. Mimikyu just took it. You can't ignore that Mimikyu, man. Man, GG. Okay, match two. This looks like a tournament team that I saw a few days ago. <sighs> well, this team's a bit scary. I definitely need Volcarona here. Uh, what am I expecting to lead, though? I feel like Mimikyu is the best all-around lead I can go for, and we're just gonna use the same four, really. I think that's the way to go. Okay, Tarantar Talonflame. That is a good lead against me, actually. <sighs> so, Rock Slide's definitely coming in. I think I'm gonna switch to Sandy Shocks here. And... This Play Rough, I know, does a lot of damage to Tyranitar. As much as I really want to go for it, I wonder if it's gonna Terra. Ah, uh, but... Mimikyu's just so safe to throw moves out with. That's the thing. So I think I'm just gonna go for it. And the Sandy Shock switch in actually covers just about anything going into that slot. So we should be good there. Yeah, there's Tailwind. Tailwind Rock Slide? That's kind of my prediction. Yeah. It missed something. Ah ha ha, yes, it missed Mimikyu. Let's go. Perfect. Nice crit. That player does a lot of damage. Here's the thing. Should I double knockout? Because I am in such a good spot to double knock out here. The thing is, it's probably like, it's probably Fluttermane and Great Tusk in the back. Do I want them to have that free double switch in? Does Sandy Shocks and Mimikyu actually play well into that? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I don't feel super good about it, but I actually want to go for it. Please knock out. Yeah, let's go. No more speed for you, friend. All right. Oh, Will-O-Wisp. On to... Sandy Shocks. Oh, I'm sorry, this is a special attacker. <laughs> you should've done it to Mimikyu. Oh, T-Bolt. Knockout. Alright, double knockout. We have the advantage in terms of... Pokemon. Oh, my disguise is still up on Mimikyu, that's huge. And I can flip the typing on Sandy Shocks to try to live a hit. If I need to. It's Delibird! Oh, that's actually... Not the best thing to see right now. Um, we're going to protect and shadow sneak because I'm a little concerned about a double up onto Mimikyu and I want to cover that. But at the same time, Sandy Shocks is kind of staring down things that can blow it up. So I'm just going to play it safe this turn. Oh! It's not Focus Ash. Okay. 
All right, four to one. We got this. Oh, we got this. There's freeze dry. Yep. Yep. Okay. I know what to do now. Um, I have a really safe play that I can do, which is to switch out Sandy Shocks for Bax Caliber, and we can just go for damage here with the play rough. All right, this is it. Let's see what terror type it is. Ice. Okay, that makes sense. Icy wind. Yeah, yeah. I, I can definitely see why you went for that. Not bad damage onto Baxcalibur, actually. All right. Don't miss your play rough, buddy. There we go. That one's gone, but it doesn't matter. So, I want to keep all four of my Mon here, so let's go for the priority moves. Oh, let's go, Mimikyu! I was, I was scared of that team, because I've seen what that team can do. Match number three, can we get three wins in a row? Let's find out, I guess. Sableye, interesting. Okay, I can see some modes this team has. I kind of want to do Volcarona Sandy Shocks. The only problem with that is Killwatchel Bramble Ghast. But I do have the Grass Terra on Sandy Shocks. I don't know, that that just seems like a good play. But so does Volcarona Mimikyu. What if I just don't bring Volcarona this match? I haven't tried running without Volcarona. I think I'll give that a shot. Uh, let's bring the Mascarada. See how this goes. Okay. You know, I like this. I like this a lot. So, there is the threat of Will-O-Wisp. However, I don't really mind that threat. I'm just gonna go for Play Rough. Honestly, I really just wanna go for this. Hang on, should I cover for... Fake Out? Yeah, let's cover for Fake Out, just to be safe. And we will scout out with Mimikyu, see what they want. Yeah, there's Fake Out. It's Fake Out Knockoff. Okay. I'm not really scared of Sableye. Like, I know it has Will- Will- <laughs> That words. I know it has Will- Wisp. I'm assuming they're Masquerada's Focus Sash. Uh, Play Rough does feel kind of good still, though. And I guess just- Let's cover a switch in on the mouse Scarada slot and just double up into that. Yeah, there's Will Wisp. Yeah, I was a little concerned about that. Now Mimikyu's not going to be able to knock out mouse Scarada with a play rough. There's knockoff. Still focusing the Mimikyu, which is interesting after Will Wisping it. I think ideally I should not have protected the Mimikyu. Oh, I don't know if that play rough KOs. Nah, it does not. Okay. This is fine. We still have the Focus Sash on Mascarada. So what I'm going to do here is Shadow Sneak and Protect. Actually, this is... Uh, no, I should not have done that. This is a great turn to bring in Sandy Shocks. And I just did not do it. Bad play. I went too fast. <laughs> oh, but it happens. That's That's just the game. Man, Mimikyu's utility is so much less now. Wait, what did Sableye go for? Foul play. Interesting. So, ah, Sandy Shocks would have taken some damage there. Mouse hold. Oh, interesting. Again, Sableye is really not a threat here. I imagine what's in the back is Great Tusk. I kind of don't want to reveal what I have. So, I think we're just going to really just... Focus down that mouse hold. I really don't see any reason to not do that. I'm gonna get Willow Wisp here though, which I kind of don't like. Except you went for Thunder Wave. What is happening? What is going on here? Oh, this is so weird. Ah, this does not do a lot. 
Knockoff should do decent damage, though. Ooh! That crit knockoff, though. I think that mattered. Okay. Got rid of Mousehold. Citrus. Sash break. Ooh, that does a lot. Show me your sweeper. Yeah, Great Tusk, the former Titan. Okay, um, we just play rough here. And Flower Trick. Yeah, yeah, we do that. Maybe Protect on Meowskarada would technically be more optimal. But I also don't mind it going down here. Ooh, Ice Spinner. Yeah, Protect would have been more optimal. Interesting, no uh, Terrastalize. So I do get a super effective play rough. It does a little bit. Not bad. There's foul play. Oh, oh that foul play is hitting like a truck. Ow. Now this is where things get kind of interesting because I do have the speed advantage with Sandy Shocks. The problem is I don't know what Terra type that thing is yet. I really need it to reveal its Terra type to me. So hopefully it doesn't have a buffing move and we are just gonna protect and bait out what it wants to do. Okay, there we go. It's gonna go for the offense. I, I need to see what its options are in this scenario. Okay, it's ground. All right. I wouldn't mind an eye shard here. Um, I'm thinking eye shard. Oh, we have grass terra blast. Oh, oh, I'm gonna blow this thing up. Yeah. Yeah, I know, it's, I know what we're doing. There's Earth... Ooh, Earthquake. That's actually interesting. I'm glad I protected, because <laughs> it is running Earthquake. So Sableye will take some damage here. Man, that's a Terra boosted full power of Earthquake right there. He just blew up his own Sableye! <laughs> wow. Alright, this is the end game I wanted to see. Okay, so we can Ice Shard here, and we're just gonna do that, and that's the win. Man, is this really gonna be three wins in a row? I'm actually pretty hyped about that. Let's go. Uh... The problem is Sableye just did not have enough utility, and that crit knockout on Mousehold helped, but I still think I was in a good spot anyway if I had not a crit the Mousehold, because I could have just sucker punched that next turn. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.